All right, you guys, what's up? This is Foxhound Gaming, and today we're going to do a playthrough on Resident Evil 2, one of my favorite games of all time. Actually, uh, was the first game I ever rented when I, back when I got my PlayStation when I was a kid. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, play through a classic, probably the best uh, sequel to any video game out of uh, this, this generation. And really, I think it was uh, probably the best sequel. It's the best sequel I can think of, quite honestly, out of anything else right now. We're going to start a new game, go on normal. Because, uh, I ain't scared. More because I want to get the special key right off the bat. Um, so I can get that alternate costume for Leon. And, uh, yeah. If you guys don't know how to do that, what in the world are you doing? No, but seriously. I'll, uh, I'll show you how if you don't. Uh, it's, it's real easy. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. Yeah, whole umbrella thing. Real bummer. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated. I don't remember there being other games during this time period that were this in depth with their story, but I say that in this exact same year when Metal Gear Solid came out too. So, special stars unit immediately began investigation in the affair. The case was apparently closed. Thanks to the efforts of STARS members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. Mm -hmm. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished. I rem I, yeah, I remember when I rented this from a local video place, you know, because those still existed. And uh, I didn't know anything about it. Other than the album art looked awesome on it, or I guess not album, but the, the cover art and everything it looked amazing. And this is so cinematic. I remember I uh, I was playing this when I was a kid, and I popped in a VHS, and I was recording it as I was playing it then, just because I thought it'd make such a cool movie. And then they made movies, and we know how that what turned out. Here? That was atrocious. Leon, such a boss, he just hops out, looks at a dead body, doesn't bother him at all. First day on the job, what's going on? Honestly, this is 1998, but look at these graphics. I know it's a cutscene since it's a CGI and everything, but it's still impressive to me. Honestly, I just love Resident Evil 2, so... Mess. What could have done this? What was that? What was that? <laughs> what are these things? Yeah. All right, that's far enough. Don't move. Don't move. No. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, and now that I think of it, I actually took this game back when I had it. I rented it, you know, and I got a PlayStation when I was a kid. And I took it to a, 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 a kid's uh, sleepover, and we started playing it, and we didn't even make it through the end of this video, and his mom ended up seeing it and put the whole kibosh to everything. And <laughs> Wait, don't shoot! Get down. It's an awesome moment. We can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll it was so cool to see the cinematics too when you play as Claire, her video, how it linked up with his. And this is one of the first games where really two different games would uh, affect each other, like in the alternate scenarios and things like that. Okay. Really, really innovative, cool stuff. What's going on? I arrived in town. And the whole place went Great. insane. Radio's out. You're a cop, yeah, and like right? I say, in the 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 movies yeah. are horrible. I the I mean, they're they're entertaining. I'll give them that. Nice to meet you. But they have right. nothing to do with Claire Resident Red Evil, and I wish they had weren't tied to the name and all of it. But if you want a good series based on Resident Evil to watch, check out the animated series. They're so good. Some of them are on Netflix or were, but so much better than the live action movies. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. Always check the back seat. No! Nah. Look out. 
How are they swinging around and peeling out so much? I love the body swinging out of the window like that. Even if it is a still frame like that, it's still amazing. Still in one piece. <laughs> so... This is bad. I'll meet you there. Okay. Man. I mean, CGI or not, that thing, I mean, it was awesome. If you look at the opening sequence from the first Resident Evil to this, I mean, that that blows that whole black and white live action thing out of the water that they had for the last game, so. All right, here we go, Resident Evil 2, guys. This is actually, uh, like I said, the first game I ever rented on PlayStation, but I'm playing it right now through my PC, and it's being emulated, so. And I actually have the uh, the graphics output uh, kind of tweaked and upgraded. So everything, not everything I shouldn't say, the character models you should notice look a lot sharper so you can actually see Leon's face and stuff. Um, but right now I'm not going to engage any of the zombies. We're going to go ahead and run past everybody. And I'm not going to pick anything up because that's how you get the special key. I'm going to go ahead and be able to change his outfit right away. See, everything else in the background probably looks exactly the same but you can see Leon's face the detail of his costume is much sharper so it's pretty cool actually the first game I ever played that on was uh or played on this one I got I got it upgraded was uh, Crash Bandicoot and I can sit here and tap dance all day walk through an unlocked door he don't even care until I step forward and then all of a sudden he notices me Freeze. who are you what are you doing here hold your fire I'm a human! They talk so much with their hands, it's awesome. Man, why didn't you lock the door? <sighs> Sorry about that. I thought you were one of them. You got a giant window, too. We should address What's these. What's going on in this town? Hold on. Let me unlock the door. I don't have a clue. Now. That By someone's already come I through it. Something was wrong. The entire city was infested with zombies. By the time you noticed, this guy's so observant. I mean, seriously, what about the. What's going on right here? Right, right through here. That gigantic window. It might be beneficial to patch it up. I mean, what do I care? But there is ammo over here. And there's also ammo. Oh, shoot! See what I mean? I walked too close. Walk too close. Yeah, if you go over there and come back, they'll bust through here. Otherwise, when you go through the door, they just bust through. Well, later, dude. And I don't want to use... I don't... You could get the shotgun there, but that's just ridiculous. You get the shotgun pretty shortly. I got my methods. And believe me, that they'll, it'll work out. And this so so cool to see, like, the in-town area when you were playing. Like, you know, you got a basketball court here, and you're going through alleys and whatnot. I mean, eventually it kind of... There it goes. Okay. I was going to say, eventually you're kind of in the confines of the police station, kind of like you were with a, with a mansion, but... Here, I'm hopefully going to get bit by him and I can knock over the other guy at the same time. Alright, here we go. There. Now hopefully I can avoid a third bite. Perfect. Yeah! See, I don't want to use any of the uh, ammo because when you reach Brad Vickers, which is the special zombie, it takes all, what is it, 16, 18 of your rounds to kill him. So, I want to save him for him. And that does mean you have to take a couple hits along the way, but... There's a couple of them you just can't avoid. Like, back there is definitely one of them. You're in the middle of an alley, you know, you're, you're cornered, so... Hopefully you can make it through here. If I'm quick enough, I shouldn't be able... Shouldn't, shouldn't get bit. Shoot, she should have turned the other way! Shoot, 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 shoot. Alright! That was about as close as it gets. Don't get me. Because when I get on the bus here, the girl on the ground and the guy walking behind her are going to have to get me. It's just... It's a fact of life. And it was a short sequence. It's only the startup area here, but... You still get to see a good portion of Raccoon City, and it was really cool. Let's get on this bus. It's conveniently crashed and blocking the entire road. Alright. Go ahead and bite me. You know you want to. There, I only took one hit. 
I still haven't gotten injured. That's good. There, come on now. He's got a button mash like nobody's business. As long as you don't get to where you're starting to limp and really slow, then you'll be okay. You can still weave and run pretty much at the exact same speed, so you'll be good. Now here, I don't want to get hit again, so I gotta be real careful. Juke and jive! Juke and jive again! Ah, oh, you guys are mean. Leave me alone. Alright. And after you go through here, there's no going back. No going back. Mountain Dew keep me strong. And right down here, it's the, they call it a special zombie. I remember back when I was subscribed to gaming magazines when I was a kid. Uh, they described it as a special zombie, but it's Brad Vickers, the helicopter pilot from the first Resident Evil. Yeah, he didn't make it. No auto-targeting, so I better not miss. Man, he fires so slow before you get the new outfit. For some reason, after you change your clothes, you're a much faster shot. There, I got him knocked down at least. Now he's obviously not dead. We should have like two or three rounds left. And then uh, we'll finish him off. Okay. Get up, Red. Bang. Two more. One. Oh! I did. I've never killed it. I thought it took all the rounds. Usually it does. Steal the special key from the special zombie in the special alley. I remember how much of a dork I was when I was a kid too. I used to take stairs two at a time like they do in this game because I thought it was neat. Heck of a workout. I don't know how neat it is. And everything's fine. I even got one round to spare. Like a boss. And this area is so cool. The, I mean, what they did with lighting and music and just overall ambient feel of the game, marvelous. And I don't think I have to tell anyone how excited I am for the remake. And if you're not, you need to seriously reevaluate what you're thinking. Look how gorgeous this is. And this music too, it's so, so iconic. It is a ringtone on my phone. I know you're worried. People who know me know I have too many weird ringtones, so... <laughs> Marvin! How you doing, bud? Oh, you gonna be alright? Side who, note, Martin. Who does are make you? it. Oh, you must be the new guy. Leon. I don't know if I must be, but yeah, I may Sorry, name. but it looks like your party has been cancelled. Ah! He's, a, he's cracking jokes while he's dying. About two months ago... I love Marvin. There was this incident involving zombies. Again, talking so much with their hands. Located in the outskirts of this city. Chris and the other STARS members discovered that... Umbrella, Umbrella was, behind was behind everything. everything. They risked their lives to reveal the truth. Why would you guys not believe him? But no one... I mean, who makes up a story like that? Not long after that. I mean, why would they? All this. I mean, wouldn't you at least like go out there and check it out? Like, uh, uh, is there a big hole where a man's room used to be? I mean, don't worry about me. I mean, Just rescue the survivors. A little, a little bit of research would have went a long ways into preventing this. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the Thanks, doors bro. in the hall with this. Now go. But. Just go. I always thought that was excessive. Fine, but I'm coming back for you. I'm offering just help. Hold on. I know he wants to shoot me, but he just got done telling me that uh, he wanted me to help the other survivors in other rooms. How did he get up there so fast? He was totally playing possum. I mean, he immediately like ran up and locked the door like at warp speed. Let's get some ammo here. Yeah. All right, all right. Of course I'd like to use your computer. You guys rocking like Windows 98 on here? Heck yeah. Use the card key. I'm really interested to see too, once they do the, the remake and they get that released out. Um, I, they said that they weren't gonna talk anything about it at E3. I kinda hope that Capcom does. I hope, I hope they change their mind. I'd like to see some of the concept art um, 
Um, I'd like to know the people that they're bringing on for the voice acting. Hopefully it's the same people, quite honestly. Um, there's a lot that I'm in interested in. And there's a, I know there's a lot of people that would also like to see some of the Resident Evil uh, 1.5 stuff kind of peppered through it so that we can see what their original plans were and see kind of how that lays out. Yeah, if you don't know, the, I, I've had that ingrained in my brain since I was, I don't know, 11, 10, 11, something like that. 2236. Always know it. Never need that. They just get it out. Get it out of here. But yeah, I mean, there were Facebook pages I joined. There was petitions signed. A lot of work. I used to think that was a dog. I mean, leave it to Resident Evil make me paranoid about any time there's a, a window like that or any type of window when something moves outside of it. I'm always certain something's crashing through and killing me. It's going to happen. And this was really cool, too. This is There's a couple times they did this in the first Resident Evil, and they did it in this one here. This one, and it might be a couple other ones. But this whole looking through from outside camera angle. Really neat. And if you move forward, it never goes back to that. So, really unique, really cool stuff. Well done, Capcom. Ooh. Remember, this hallway used to terrify me, and I would n I would do everything I could to avoid it. I'd go on the other side immediately, which I didn't know what I was doing. You don't do that. More details to come. Seems to have been twisted off. Well, let's see what twisted it off right down the way. This is an amazing animation. Still is. I don't even care. <gasps> And you're a fool if you think I'm gonna fight you. Nope. Come back later. More firepower. Don't be a hero, guys. Run past him. You'll get the shotgun upstairs in the star's room. And it'll be better from there. Just don't be a hero. Not right now. And it's so cool. I mean, the the amp, the way that the whole environment feels like you see boarded up doorways and windows and creepy music and there's nobody around. You just know some stuff went down. And it didn't go well. Like there, it could have went well, maybe, but it really, it did not. All right, I'm not gonna read the operation. Post. Basically, it's talking about, hey, we trying, we're trying to survive and protect each other, and it's not working. That's my synopsis. Immediately, first item, first pick upable item. I mean, I guess other than the key card, but I don't, I don't count that. A giant ruby or red jewel. It's called the Virgin Heart if you search it. But and then back here, yeah, we got a cash, a cache. Is it cash or cache? I don't care. Whatever. I must say cash. It's probably cache. Let's get out of here though. I'm basically just going for a speed run here today, but uh, I'm enjoying every second of it. This game's awesome. I really think it is how you kind of set a mold up to do a sequel. You take what made the first game awesome, do that, but then you expand on it, make it better. You don't rewrite. Like a lot of games nowadays, they just try to rewrite the whole darn thing. Let's see if I can knock him down, give myself some room to work. All right, Let's see if I can avoid being sh bit here. It'd be great. Yeah! Slowest shooter ever! Semi-automatic, but you know. Yeah. He's gonna bite me in the leg! Oh. I guess he is dead. I'm a freaking beast. Now she's down. I win. How much ammo did I waste? A lot. Alright, alright! It's always good to take an herb with you. It's dangerous to go alone. All right, into the dark room. And this has got to be the best music ever, because you knew you were, you were in a spot where you didn't have to worry about some crap going down for a little while. I really do think that Resident Evil 2 also had one of the best in-game soundtracks ever, quite honestly. Go ahead and drop off my jewel, because, you know, the boxes are universal, because I'm not playing on crazy psycho mode right now. 
Operation Port 2 basically saying we uh, we headed for the sewers. Hopefully this is gonna gives you some information. It tells you where the uh, heart key is at, which is where you, what you use to get down into the sewers. Special key is used up. Now, two outfits that'll fit me. Of course I'll change my clothes. We're going for the left. Leather jacket, I mean, why would you wear a tank top? Come on, be smart about it. Plus, it looks so good in a leather jacket, Leon. Don't even try to kid yourself. And look how he goes, gangsta! With his gun torn sideways. It's all sideways. And it shoots much faster now. Alright, not forgetting anything. Let's get out of here. Been on a pitch black kick lately. We'll leave that there for now. We can always pick it up later. I like to think every uh, every stair sets a loading screen in real life. We just don't know about it. Creepy, creepy music. All right, and the first puzzle. And if you know, it should be be very apparent what to do here. But yeah, this is another situation where you can really tell how how much the the upscalers work in, uh, for my emulator. You can see that the center statue still looks blurry, but uh, like this guy right here, he still looks blurry. But the other two on the sides, they look pretty darn detailed. Nope, I gotta walk around it. Walk around it, Leon. You can do it. Yeah. There we go. Always go ahead and do this one right away. I mean, why wouldn't you? Do -dum, do -dum, do -dum. It's good to see that just the Spencers weren't the ones doing all these weird, crazy puzzles that were completely unnecessary just to get one of two items that you used to unlock to get another item to unlock a door somewhere a mile away from here. There's a point to it. Okay, it was it was thought out really well. Uh, okay, a little more pushing. Come on. Right, there we go. I always thought this thing broke. It sounds like it broke, but it didn't. It freaks me out. I'm like, ah! I want the pretty jewel. That's how you're gonna get rich after all this is done. It's not gonna be. I mean, you're not gonna like sell your story for you know, meteorites or something. Gotta loot. <laughs> Isn't that what you do in horrible situations? See how much faster that shoots? It's gorgeous. And you're so much more accurate with one hand. Ugh. Stay down. Stay down. What? It's for your own good, alright? You're not even real people anymore. Sorry, I mean, I don't mean to bum your zombie faces out. Get up. Back up. You think he's dead? Yeah, he's dead. He's bleeding. Star's room. Special tactics and rescue squad. The very people that told you was gonna happen and you guys didn't listen. Like your highest trained people. See, there's your shotgun. I believe with Claire it's a... Uh... It's either the bow gun or the grenade launcher. Honestly, I didn't play a whole lot with Claire. I mean, I played through her scenario A and like half of her B scenario, but for me, Resident Evil 1 was all Jill. Resident Evil 2 was all Leon. So this is Chris's diary saying, hey, we're, we are deciding to take the fight right to Umbrella's doorstep. I appreciate that, Chris. Real ballsy. Um, but it's saying he's not here. Pretty predictable. Reunion! Leon! It's good to see you're still among the living. It looks like we're not gonna find your brother here after all. Yeah, and when you're playing with Claire here, you actually, that's when you read the diary first. It's really cool to see how the stories and the gameplay There's interlinked. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. Right. Right. One last thing. This is Here's smart. Here's a radio. 
take of it. all the situ- you know everybody's always like don't split up don't split up but i mean that way we i don't think you should split up happens. but at least he gives her a radio and all the other ones there's like no means of communication it's just like i hope it works out and they go off running this is cool too you get to look at the picture of uh, the stars alpha and bravo team Boy, if I felt brave enough, I'd try to name it. I can name the ones that I do know. Okay, so we got front and center, we got Chris Redfield. Going to the right, we got Jill Valentine, and I think... Boy, was that Joseph? Joseph Spire? Um, you got Enrico Marini, I think, is on his... Going to the left. I mean, that might not be Chris Redfield. Chris Redfield's all the way far on the right, and I stand next to Barry. Like I said, been a while, but pretty cool to see that they laid kind of kind of an Easter egg-ish kind of sort of thing in there. And this is actually an Easter egg thing here. If you search a desk 50 times, you get yourself a handy dandy roll of film, which you can take downstairs and develop into a picture of Rebecca Chambers in a basketball uniform. Seems kind of pervy, but I mean it is Wesker's desk, so. Which, you know, when I was a kid, I didn't really it click to, you know, this says someone searched through the desk. I'm like, hmm, that's interesting, whatever. But really, I mean, it's Wesker's desk, and like he's the guy that's tied up in all the crap, so it makes sense that somebody would be here looking through all this crap. I'm going to go ahead and get it, though. Not that I'm going to try to go for 100% items right now, and it's kind of counterintuitive to me getting uh, making this a, uh, a speed run through my Let's Play, but I always have to do it for my own uh, OCD sake. I do it every time. Might as well do it now. There it is! Film. Totally unnecessary. But yeah. Okay. So we got that. We got our unicorn medallion. We got a shotgun now, so we can take out that liquor on the way back. And, uh, yeah, we can continue from here. Okay, guys, this is going to complete part one. Uh, if you liked it, go ahead and give me a, a like and a sub. Uh, I appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Uh, go ahead and keep a, a track of the, the next few videos that I'll have. I'll have parts two and so on of this. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Leave a comment if you got any other games you'd like me to go ahead and play through with you. It could be old, current, PC, whatever. Uh, but, yeah, hope you guys enjoy, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks, guys.